Thank you. Um, well, I'm super excited to be here. Um, guys, congratulations on this wonderful movie. Seriously, I loved it. Thank you. Um, Thank I wanted you. to ask you both. Um, how did you adapt the Disney Channel humor for Gen Z? Because they openly reference sex in this movie. And as far <laughs> as I'm concerned, that didn't exist in the Disney universe. Characters just sprung out of existence. So how did this um, modern take happen? Well, I thought it was, I mean, Disney, Disney Channel has such a huge following and those kids grow and they, they obviously move on to more of a Disney plus, which is more like for the whole family versus just the kids. And I really think that Disney plus is doing a great job of saying we want to grow with our audience. They don't expect kids to necessarily be watching um, these movies uh, alone but then again there's nothing in there that's so crazy or mind-blowing these kids are getting all of this information from lots and lots of different areas so why not get it from Disney plus in a way that is um a, a hint of it and very digestible yeah yeah oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah you agree yeah. perfect I mean I did the yeah, it really is the direction also I think Disney wants to go. They want to grow that that audience. And so this was a first step. And so they were really generous with allowing us to be a little bit more adult. And I think it really elevated the movie. And it's also one of the reasons why people are responding to it so much. So Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Absolutely. By the way, yeah. I'm going to print that. Yeah, Anya Adams. Yeah, that's going to be my, yeah. my reading <laughs> quote. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, was there anything from your personal high school experiences that made it into the film? For me, the oh. uh, Mandy, Mandy's uh, drivenness and inability to relax and enjoy being a teenager, that that is very much uh related to my life um our our writer um anthony lombardo had a friend that he based that on but i felt like it was it could have been me how about you on you know what not not really i went to a private school so i didn't i wasn't a part of a public school i think it maybe is a part of um my youthful wish fulfillment because i always wanted to go to a, a regular high school um and so uh, this was kind of me being able to live up this that dream. Perfect. I'll I'll invite you to prom. Let's do it. Let's. Oh, let's have dude. That sweet! I bet you're, you're a good date. Best. Yeah, I'm yes. gonna set up the proposal with Julie. Um, okay. <laughs> I can see that you already have the living room ready to go in the background. You're, I do you have my my dumpy living room ready. Um, uh, I talked to Margaret Cho a minute ago. And she said oh, um, this movie featured a lot of cool adults. You know, I consider you both cool adults, but I did want to <laughs> ask, um, how did you and the team behind Prom, behind Prom Pack decide, um, you know, how to make it an actual film for this generation and not seem corny? Well, I, I love that Margaret said that this. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Anya. No, I was just like, I think it's being true to character. I think it's it's not trying to manufacture anything. And I think it's tapping into like um, the characters and their energy. A great example is Mandy's parents. I think they're a, a couple that people like seeing on screen. They love each other. They're quirky. They're fun. But they're not, we weren't trying too hard. It was just like, this is organically kind of how they how they came together and, and how they were on screen. So um yeah I I think it's you know we weren't trying to push anything it was just you know really trying to keep the characters grounded and real um in the moment and I, for me That's I think answer. that um I think of 90210 Beverly Hills 90210 and when I how they had those parents were in a few seasons and then were so they were written so thinly and got so marginalized they just got rid of them and they say have these teenagers living alone now as an actress with teenagers uh, being offered mom roles all the time i think these people have lives they have whole <laughs> lives they have love and romance and they have arguments and disappointments why are we treating them like they're just walking in and shaking their fingers and and running away so i would i would love to see yeah. us continue to uh give the parents a little something to do 
<laughs> Perfect. I understand. Again, congratulations on a wonderful thing. This is uh, this this is going to be a classic. I can tell. Oh, um, thank you I so love much. It. Thank, thank you. So you. Much. Thank you for your time. And see uh, you Mitch, at prom. I will. Prom. I will definitely see you at prom. I will see both at prom. Um, Mitch, if you okay. have that first conversation recorded, I would love it because I'm going to treasure it for the rest of my life. That would be all of my time. <laughs> Before before the before the restart, I will do exactly. that video. No problem. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll send you the whole thing. Let's go. Thank Robin. you.